Hello folks, get out of popcorn, we do a caliber discussion. Um, we all know that it's a very emotional thing, we're talking about calibers. Today I would like to talk about the 6.5 Creedmoor in comparison to uh, the time entrusted 308 Winchester. And we use this as an example um, to talk a little bit about the Creedmoor, which you probably all heard about. and. Uh, it's already there to stay. Um, some people still think they want to wait until it's finished, but the, the sales numbers in the US at least are over the 308 win. So that is um, a clear sign that it will, will stay with us for a good reason. It has advantages, but um, we want to use, we do a terminal ballistic test in ballistic soap, and that will show you in specific what that caliber can do, but also help you to understand in general what makes a caliber and a bullet work. What we see here is the bullet just stopped at the end of the 50 centimeter 20 inch block, um, which is typical. We have a driven on scenario here, 50 meters target distance. So the shorter the distance is, the more um, tissue destruction goes in the in the growth, and the less penetration you have. That's typical. It's very normal, and we di we dimension these blocks especially for rifle high power rifle cartridges. So that is is a perfect example. And now I'm eager to see what will happen if we take a lighter, thinner, but faster bullet. What will it do in comparison to that proven 308? That is one of the uh, strongest 308 lots on the market. 869 meters per second with 150 grain GMX lead free bullet. And we use the exact same bullet type, of course, to have a real comparison with a 6.5 Creedmoor, lighter, thinner, but faster. What we will do now is we will cut the soap block open and you will see the complete cavity uh, and that really allows uh, a good uh, evaluation but also a very good apples to apples comparison to the other caliber that we shot and you can see what the bullet does actually because energy transfer means nothing if it's not turned into tissue destruction. This is what we can evaluate here with the soap. Again, it's, it doesn't simulate anything it is a media to objectively compare bullet performance. So the bullet stopped here. We just took it from the soap block. You can see it is perfectly mushroomed, um, which t tells us the bullet worked as expected. But don't be misjudged um, only by the mushroom. You can't tell what happened here in the important part of tissue destruction. So we cut the blocks open. Now we can judge uh, and compare the results. For the effectiveness in game it's important a the volume which you can liter with water which we didn't do this time but then the, the second and third most important factors is how big is the cavity and how quickly is it reached. So what we do is we measure the widest spread of the cavity here at 10.5. We do um, we, we make a line then we draw a line where the original front of the block was and we measure this and this is 8.5 centimeters in that case. Then we move over to the 6.5 Creedmoor. Here we have a cavity which is maximum 10 centimeters. Again, help line, original line and this is reached at 7 centimeters already and this is exactly what we expected. We have a lighter bullet with a smaller diameter but a slightly higher speed and the higher speed lead to a quicker reaction in the, the, the tissue destruction which will give also very good effectiveness in game and uh, it's important for driven hunts but also for general hunting.